the Jamie Oliver Christmas meal. How's that going? Are you in the kitchen stuffing the turkey? Of course I'm stuffing the turkey and carving the turkey and, and, uh, and, all, and, and the goose and the porchetta. So uh, we do like a, an arrosta misto on Christmas Day and then we've got loads of lovely leftovers for Boxing Day um, for cold cuts. So it's great. I love it. And, um, and actually I love, I love the Christmas dinner. I love the great British roast. Um, and um, we love the kind of nuttiness of the decorations and, and with all the little kids, you know, I've got a one and a half year old and a 15 year old and everything in between. So yeah, we like to get involved. The key secret to any good successful Christmas dinner is planning. It's really boring. But for me, it's a really interesting thing because it's my busiest time of year. This is when like, we get like 14 million people come through my website, all looking for inspiration, looking for a plan. You know, and, and if you think about it, it's the time when even the non-cooks cook to a degree, right? Um, so it's an amazing moment for cooking in Britain all on one day and then the stress of the in-laws, you know, the first one you've done or trying to up your game from the last. So there is, it is like a moment to get right, but also it's all about sitting down for 10 minutes, building a plan, and what I do is I literally write a time from when I wanna be eating a beautiful meal and work backwards, work backwards like three days before. And it's, for me, enjoying Christmas and not stressing and having a nightmare um, is about getting ahead of the game, planning ahead, getting your prep done, and um, yeah, and recipes that really work. Because you cook in some high pressure, high profile restaurants, how does it feel compared to cooking in Jamie Oliver's kitchen at home? <laughs> well, normally when you're working in a, in a line in a, in a kitchen, you haven't got like kids punching you uh, in the wrong places and kind of like trying to explode things on you and kind of like the emotions and tears and kind of like weird stuff that can happen on Christmas Day. I mean, it, you know, Christmas Day for us anyway is highs and lows, like it's like it's completely nuts. Um, but uh, no, I love it. I actually, you know, I'm from breakfast in the morning, you know, to, we have a Christmas lunch, not a dinner. So, you know, we're normally having about, you know, lunch about 1.30. And yeah, I, I love it. I like, you know, I wear the terrible jumper. I have a few drinks, you know, I love it. And tell me about the Yorkshire produce. Are you bringing locally sourced ingredients into the restaurant? Well, look, I mean, it's uh, every part of the country where we have restaurants, we like to look at, you know, what can you get locally? Yorkshire's full of amazing stuff. So, you know, we buy some of our beef from Yorkshire. We've got some amazing free range pork that comes from Yorkshire that we actually send back to London and we turn into speciality cured meats, fennel salamis, spicy undoyas that you'll see across the menu and the Christmas menu. And, you know, it's really, really nice. One of our best selling dishes at the moment is a really unusual one that people just gone nuts for, which is a rabbit casarachi, um, which is slow cooked, sweet leeks, garlic, thyme, a little white wine and rabbit, which is farmed here in Yorkshire. Uh, we cook it till it falls apart. Uh, finish it with some mascarpone, some beautiful homemade pasta that we make every single day here uh, in James Italian. Um, so, you know, it's quite nice. You know, I love, like, our specials boards always work hard to sort of reflect what, what's, we don't really put fish on the menu, we kind of reflect what's being caught. Um, but what I quite like is not just the local hero recipes, but also when it's good, it's quite nice to sort of celebrate that in Scotland and Cambridge and, and London too, do you know what I mean? So I think, it's really nice. I think we're very spoiled in Britain and I think, you know, every region likes to think it does one thing better than the other and that's brilliant. I love the competition and, uh, you know, if you go to Lincolnshire, they've got a view. If you go to Yorkshire and, uh, you know, and don't even say, don't even talk about Lancashire because you get the Yorkshire guys all really going, but it's good. It's all good. So how does Yorkshire compare to them other... other um, yeah, you're, you're putting me in a position here. I could, get, I could have a rebellion. Um, look, Yorkshire is rich rich with produce you know and and from you know the incredible grass that you have here to give you the most amazing uh, you know animals and, and 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 the flavor of the meat you know of course you see that you absolutely see that the history the tradition of local butchers and and and, and traditions um and um, and i've been lucky enough to you know make programs around the regions yorkshire included and um it's brilliant i mean it's the patchwork quilt britain of of amazing of amazing recipes and produce but you know I'm not going to say which one's the best because I'll get an absolute kicking I'd like to say it's all very good <laughs>